Welcome to Weld.com. I get asked a lot about doing procedure welds, how we pass various tests with MIG, and today I'd like to demonstrate some correct and incorrect methods and techniques and settings here on a groove weld on 3 8 plate. I've already run the root in here. It's fine. Uh, I've done some videos and I've done some demonstrations on a downhill root. Uh, we'll do some uphill roots as well. Again, it's a 30 degree bevel. I put about a 5 30 second root opening in a 3 8 plate. Uh, this one would run in with a slight up angle on the wire back about 20 degrees. It goes in pretty nicely. But today I want to, I want to focus on these fill passes. People have asked me, well, do you go in and you just lace this up and down horizontally? And the answer is no. Uh, you want to run multiple stringer beads in order to make this uh, correct. So, and it actually runs faster, cleaner. Again, you know, when we're running a test, we want to pass x-ray or we want to pass a bend test. So we want all clean weld metal to go in here. And when we get to the outside, these last passes, we're going to treat it like any other weld. We're allowed, you know, we, we don't want undercut and we don't want our reinforcement to be above the plate more than an eighth of an inch and we want this to be blended in so we're going to see multiple welds going down through this uh, stringer beads but when we if we looked at it from this end it would just look like a blend of beads together when it's done correctly okay so i'm going to get my gear on here and we're, we'll pull the trigger And I've made a machine adjustment here to 19 and a half volts, about 365 on my wire feed speed. And I have my gun angle back about 20 degrees. I'm attacking the toe of the previous weld. Hey guys, today's episode is brought to you by Napotnik Welding Supply. They're giving away an ESOB Rebel machine, just like this used in today's episode. Uh, for a chance to win this machine, sign up to their email list. Let's get back to welding. This is the second pass of my two-pass fill horizontal. I'm making a very slight stitch back and forth straight, I'm not weaving up and down. I'm trying to keep that wire on the leading edge of the pool. I'm also trying to watch that top edge. Need to clean this real quick. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here. I put a, a two bead fill pass in here, and it's blended together nicely. I've buffed it out. I'm gonna come back in here and do a three bead cap pass. And this first bead, I really want to pay attention to this beveled edge. That's why I've left it alone. It's to within about 3.30 second. Uh, this is pretty flush and it's full to within about 3.30 second. So my attempt here is to point the wire back about 15, 20 degrees and I want to attack the toe of this weld, except I want the bottom of the bead, I'm gonna be watching to see that it's up above. I want, I want to create reinforcement above the plate surface. And then I'm gonna come in on top of that bead and I'm gonna run right along the toe of the, of the first bead of the, of the cap and I wanna blend those two together. And then what I'm ended up with here is a little valley and all I'm gonna be concentrating on is running the last pass along the top here and I wanna watch this top edge to make sure that I'm not leaving any undercut and again, I want these beads to be blended together in a straight line. My bevel is in a straight line, so I have a guide to work with here. 
again, I've left the same settings that I ran the fill and the two fill passes. And I'm putting this first pass along the bottom here. Really watching that bottom edge to make sure that material is, is melting that bottom edge out and I have a little bit of reinforcement. A little bit of a stitch. I use a straight back and forth stitch. That's kind of my personal timing and how I move. This is a uh, second pass here. And same motion, pretty much the same travel speed, same gun angle. I want to blend this bead to the center of the first one. This is the last pass of a horizontal groove weld on 3 8 plate. I've, uh, I've cleaned these two passes. I did touch this with a grinder slightly just to, just to open this up just a little bit. We've finished our horizontal weld with a three bead cap. Um, a couple of things to note here. I tried to ray, run as straight as possible. I kind of, I, I think I got my arm hooked on the table. It's, that's my excuse. Uh, it's running there pretty straight. If I take a light, you know, the thing I'm looking for is I, I, we don't want any undercut. So we can take flashlight and we can run it along this top edge and we don't have any undercut. We've got a good gentle profile. The beads are blended together. We have, we have cut this to show a profile and how they're rounded. Uh, again, I can take the flashlight and look along the bottom edge. Uh, don't have any undercut, so I think we did this successfully. Again, we're welding hot. We're welding hot with the, with the fill and the, and the cap pass here. 19 and a half volts on this particular wire size. Uh, 365 on the wire feed speed running a, a C25, about 20 cubic feet per hour. Uh, you know, straight lines, we wanna blend things together, right height, and we wanna use this uh, uh, bevel as a guide. So I hope this helps when we're, when we're trying to pass some of these procedure tests in the vertical and horizontal, any of these, these settings and the things that we're demonstrating here. Uh, this will conclude this episode. Uh, thanks for watching Weld.com. If you like this, make sure you subscribe. So we're going to keep doing some more of these videos and, and, and we, we take the questions and try to answer the questions.